I'm pretty disappointed. Let's talk about it. So obviously, I'm not Nelson. Um, if you want to see the video that he just did today, you can go to my channel because we did a channel swap because we thought it would be funny. Um, so that'll be in the link in the description. Today we're talking about the many saints of Newark. Young Anthony Soprano was growing up in one of the most tumultuous areas in Newark, New Jersey history, becoming a man just as rival gangsters start to rise up and challenge the all-powerful DeMille crime family. Caught up in the changing times is the uncle he idolizes, Dicky Moltisanti, whose influence over his nephew will help shape the impressionable teenager into the all-powerful mob boss, Tony Soprano. So first, we got to talk about the production quality of the movie. It was pretty damn good. I was honestly impressed by the directing by Alan Taylor. Uh, it was genuinely good. Um, the way the movie opens up, it's pretty well, like, you can hear the voices of the, the dead people. Like, you pans onto a graveyard, and you can hear the voices of the dead people. That's not a spoiler. Another thing is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is phenomenal. It's perfect for the movie. Uh, as the time goes on, like from 1967 all the way to 1972, the music goes along with it. So it's the music from the times, like whatever hit songs from that year, they were playing those in the soundtrack over the movie every now and then. And it was, it was cool how they did that because it really showed you how the times were changing. Tony Soprano, uh, the mob boss from the, the show The Sopranos, which I have never seen. Uh, it's basically a movie about how he becomes the mob boss that he becomes. Um, and it goes through the whole story about his Uncle Dicky, um, everything he did, and uh, everything Tony went through to create who he is now, which is honestly pretty phenomenal. So in the beginning of the film, it's in 1967, and it's during the Newark, New Jersey riots um, when police brutality started to get too far and um, the, the black community just had enough of it. And they started rioting in the streets. One of the main antagonists, his name is Harold. He's not really an antagonist. Everybody's an antagonist. There really is no protagonist in the movie. All of them are bad guys. Harold was there for like when the riot started. And he sees something. And then he just decides to fight for the black community. I, I thought it was pretty cool how the movie was shining a light on the police brutality at the time. Um, they definitely were historically accurate especially with the way they dress they were ac accurate with the cars they were accurate with everything like to the very detail um everybody's accents all the characters their accents are perfect um i mean i don't really know anything about like italian mafias or anything but they had the stereotypical hey what's going on tony like you know what i'm talking about it was pretty cool um there was a lot of betrayal in the film um basically how it was with real mafias um nobody really trusted anybody it was it was just so much betrayal and for a while it was like huh no consequences but then i was like oh never mind <laughs> uh in the beginning of the movie it's one of my favorite lines it's so funny uh one of the the mobsters is like man i gotta quit smoking because he was just chasing a guy he's like i gotta quit smoking and then in instantly puts a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Another funny line <laughs> was one of the other mobsters. He was like, he was walking outside and it's raining. And he's like, big boy's playing the rain. And then he slips and cracks his back on the stairs. I do have to say that there's quite a few heartwarming moments in the movie. Uh, one of them being an incident with an ice cream truck. And it's pretty awesome. Um, another one is Tony talking about his mom. It's... Everybody's going to love those parts. They're probably a couple of the best acting performances in the movie. Um, our girl from uh, uh, the Conjuring series, she plays Loretta. Uh, Vera Farmiga, uh, she was probably one of the best parts about the movie. Uh, her character was really annoying. She never stops talking, um, but she played it perfectly. And she had like this, this, this extension on her nose where it made it look like she had a bigger nose. So at first I was like... It kind of looks like that woman from The Conjuring. And then I looked it up and I was like, it is the woman from The Conjuring. And uh, I don't know. It's just not a good look for her, but she's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong. She's still beautiful. 
another thing about the movie is it's brutal as hell. Um, if you're not one for violence and gore, then this movie is not for you. But if you love mobster movies, then it's the stereotypical gore that's in any mobster movie ever. If you've ever seen Goodfellas, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the thing that really hindered on the score for me for the movie was the movie feels and seems very spaced out and there's really not a whole lot of explaining um, for the different events that happen. Um, it's like it's telling a story without any context. Like things just happen for no reason and it's kind of confusing but I'm sure if like I'll probably have to watch it again because I probably missed a few things but I don't know there's really not much else for me to say for the film. I ended up giving it an 80%, which for me is a bad score. I usually give all my movies a 90 or 100 or better because uh, I'm not very critical when it comes to movies or films. Uh, not as bad as Nelson is. <laughs> uh, um, I usually just watch it for entertainment value. And this movie was pretty entertaining. But like I said, it's just not very detailed. Um, it's not the best mobster movie out there, but it's not a bad one. So if you have time to watch it, I definitely do recommend it. Um, it's not for everybody. It's not a movie that's made specifically for me, but the movie isn't that bad. It's definitely worth a watch, um, especially if you were into the show The Sopranos, which I'm pretty sure was like from the 90s. Yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and watch that movie, go ahead, go check it out, and uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you agreed or disagreed with anything I said, uh, as you would for Nelson. And uh, make sure to go check out my channel. I'll leave the link in the description. It's Michael Taylor. Um, I react to short horror films. Sometimes I play games. And every now and then I'll listen to music. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at MichaelRavenC. Follow me on Letterboxd at uh, SheGokai. And uh, yeah, Nelson, we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace out.